Welcome back to Taiwan Outlook. We have a special guest today. He's the translator of the Chinese edition of the Lower Rings, and now he's working on a very interesting and very important program of translating all the MIT open course online into Chinese. Uh, Lucifer, uh, you've been working on this by yourself, you know, yes. and by now you're inviting more people to join you in doing this kind of volunteer works. Tell us about the current status. Well, current, uh, currently we have over 2,400 volunteers from over 16 different countries mm -hmm. to help us do the translation work. And we are uh, one of the three parties who signed the uh, uh, translation affiliate contract with MIT. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the other interesting part is that uh, I said there's three parties, right? The first party is us. The second one is CORE. Mm -hmm. It's an, another government uh, entity in China was who was joined by 20 different universities. Mm -hmm. They got sponsorship from the government. Yeah. And the third one is Vietnam Education Foundation, which is which was sponsored by their government. Yeah. So uh, we are the only one non translation project in the whole world whose f uh, the funding came from a crazy guy like me. <laughs> but it's a non-profit organization, non-profit yes. works. But again, it, it, it requires some uh, efforts and about also resources. Yes. So you donate the money and... and well, I donate it. most of the money. <laughs> uh, well, this, well, maybe this is kind of a destiny, right? Yeah. I'm. Uh, I earned a lot of money when I was 27 years old, so maybe I should do something. So I almost donate all my royalties earned from Lord of Rings into this project. But I, I think it's, it's, it is a very good project. I think I will try to do my best to make it at least survive longer. Mm -hmm. One of the volunteers told me a very touching story is that, you, you know, well, a lot of people in Taiwan is learning English and we know how hard it is, right? Mm -hmm. Our mother tongue is Chinese or Mandarin or some of them is Taiwanese. But we know it's very difficult for us to learn a second language. Mm -hmm. Uh, he told me that the only reason for us to learn English is that our next generation will not need to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. We'll try to translate all the advanced knowledge and all the advanced topic into Chinese. And in the future, our next generation, our kids, mm -hmm. our grandson will be reading everything in Chinese. Mm -hmm. And all those other people, foreigners, they will learn Chinese. <laughs> so that will be difficult for them, not for us. But on the other hand, you know, the quality of translation is very important. You know? Yes. So you have 24,100 24, uh, volunteers. How do you control the uh, quality of okay. the translation? Uh, first, we, we do have an uh, expert, or several expert translator who's doing uh, the full-time job as an editor. Mm -hmm. So first, you, if you submit the translation, translation work, you've got to pass their examination. And the second one, I said that this work is voluntary and it's honorary. Uh, you're going to live forever, mm. but if you're not doing a very good job, it will be very difficult because whenever in the future of your life, whenever yeah. you Google your own name, <laughs> you'll see that your name is attached to a very lousy translation. Uh -huh. I think nobody will allow that. Okay, but are they allowed to do the second translation or revise it? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, most of the volunteers or our readers will be reading our uh, projects into, uh, we will try to put English and Chinese together. So it's very easy for people to spot something that's mm -hmm. not right. Mm -hmm. And when they found that it's not right, they'll just email to us or to the editors and we can change them in no time. Mm -hmm. But as you said that in other countries, uh, these kind of uh, jobs or works are somewhat sponsored by the, the government. Yes. How about our government's response to these kind of jobs? Well, 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 maybe <laughs> because I'm not that welcome in our own country. I don't know why. I try to uh, submit a lot of proposals to Ministry That's of very Education. That's a very important job. You know. Yeah, but you are not the funder, right? You uh -huh. cannot give me money. If you are someone who's working in our government, you will say, okay, let's give this crazy guy some money. But mm -hmm. most of our money comes from Hewley Foundation, which was founded by William and Flora Hewley, who founded the HP company. Mm -hmm. They gave us, like, uh, 50,000 US dollars per year, yeah. but we get almost none from our own government. I don't know why. I try my best. I mm. go to a lot of schools, I go to Ministry of Education, but nobody is listening to me. I, I mean, well, the biggest uh, challenge is that, okay, our government is spending a lot of money on the University Excellence Project. Yeah, you right. know, they spend like uh, 50 billion dollars to 12 different schools yeah. in the next five years. But nobody's understanding, nobody knows what they were doing. Mm -hmm. right? they, 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 maybe they invite a lot of masters in their own school, maybe they're building new buildings, but we don't know. Yeah. So by doing open courseware, 
you can ask those universities to open up That's to right. that general public to understand what you are doing. That's, right. That's a good thing, but well, I don't know why. Nobody's lesson. So lesson. more transparency needed. needed right? Yes, it's kind of sharing, right? If you get a lot of the money from the taxpayers, you should not limit knowledge into your own, own wall. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we pay our tax because we want to make the society better, mm -hmm. not one school better. That's, That's right. not right. That's right. But on the other hand, uh, it's very competitive. Uh, you yes. Know, and MIT is one of the big, be best schools, yeah. but there are also other universities in the States, in other countries and so on. Why do you pick at MIT? Well, because MIT is the only one who are generous enough to share that at that time. But yeah. now we have uh, courses from Harvard, Harvard, from Cambridge, from Johns Hopkins, from mm -hmm. Tokyo University, Waseda, Keio, almost uh, the top 20 universities of uh, Japan join this project. So I can say that uh, if you're trying to find a top 25 scores in the whole world, half of them join Open Courseware project. But mm -hmm. if you try to find the uh, top 25 scores in Taiwan, only one of them, National Jiao Tong University, is yeah. doing Open Courseware, but no other university is considering now. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the future, what what do you plan to do? You know, in addition to Open Course uh, online translation, also the translation of novels and so on. Uh, I don't how, know. By the way, how many hours do you work every day? Well, at least 16 hours really? straight. You know, whenever I open my laptop, I'm working because I need to get emails from different places nah, and nah. everything. I don't know, but for now, maybe uh, for the next two years, mm -hmm. I will be trying to build up uh, open course as a really new trend for the local education system. I mean, mm -hmm. well, if you think you are as good as MIT, you should do that, right? Mm -hmm. Because you, you say that I'm, uh, we are the top schools in Taiwan, so we don't care about whether people are stealing from us because mm -hmm. you are the best school. There's no way they are going to steal your professor, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to see your knowledge, but they cannot get your education. Mm -hmm. People are still willing to pay to get the education from your school. Mm -hmm. So I, try, I will try to persuade more and more schools in Taiwan to join us. And the other part is that even I get uh, well, I am not that welcome in high school, but I try to do my best to mm -hmm. tell those kids that there's future out there, there's mm -hmm. possibilities for you, you've got to have your own dream. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll do that. that is, it will be very busy for me, at least for the next That's two right. years, but if I spend all my money, I, still, I can still work in a convenience store, like 7-Eleven, <laughs> right? Let's talk about the future. As we know that uh, the so-called innovation industry has now become one of the most important industries every country is yes. trying to pursue. But uh, given the current status in Taiwan, what do you think are the most important niches that Taiwan enjoys uh, and most difficult parts in Taiwan to and trying to well, pursue that, that That's industry. a difficult question. That's a very good question, but that's a very big challenge is that uh, for the se uh, past several years, people uh, in Taiwan always saying that innovation is very good, innovation industry is very good, but we focus too much on industry. Yeah. It's very, uh, it's like a dilemma. There, there's no way you suddenly make your students become someone who's working in an industry, right? Yeah. But I try to approach to the uh, industry part. I try to, to say that maybe you can sponsor us some money for us to get a fantasy arts award to encourage the students to write their own novels and mm. practice their own innovation and creativity. But they say, no, I'm only a company. I'm a, a for-profit entity. So there's yeah. no way I'm going to sponsor you. But that's the weird part, right? If there's nobody who's getting trained or educated uh, to be an innovative guy who who be someone who work in the creativity mm -hmm. industry, there's no way he's going to work in your industry, right? That's so. Right. The biggest problem for us is that we have to spend more money on education and we have to persuade those teachers mm -hmm. to at least have some possibilities for the kids instead mm -hmm. of everybody should go to the university. You That's know, right. right now it's 100%. Yeah. Uh, well, you can get into university as long as you write something on your <laughs> paper, right? So that's, that's right. not a very good situation. But I for think us. you're absolutely right. You need to have you, you need to have innovation first because you can make that yes. into an industry. But the education is very important. Uh, it lays out the foundation for innovation. But the current educational system, some people have been complaining that you know, it yes. emphasized very much on discipline, on you know, thinking one way, not you know, creative ways. What can we do about it? Okay, so. Uh, I think, well, a lot of schools in the uh, United States is using the words tutor, or, uh, but back in Taiwan, we were using teacher. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Well, okay, the biggest difference of tutor and teacher is that tutor cannot teach you everything. Mm -hmm. They just guide you. Yeah. They just help you to go to the way you picked. But teacher in Taiwan is teaching you everything. He's mm. teaching you where you should go. He's teaching you what you should do. So the biggest difference, I think, for Taiwan right now, come, uh, even starting from high school, is that they should say that, okay, if you want to have a better future, you don't have only one answer. You've got mm. different answers. Maybe you should not go to the uh, college. Maybe you can become a marathon runner, right? Yeah. Lin Yijie is a very good marathon runner, and he's spending his time in college not learning anything. Yeah. And uh, Jamin Wang is a very good pitcher. Yeah. And there's no reason he's going to get a master degree than go to pitching, right? Mm -hmm. So the biggest challenge for us is that we should educate our teachers mm -hmm. to have more and more flexible, more open mind for mm -hmm. our kids, then they will have the future. Yeah. And also some people complain that the, 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 when people talk about innovation industry, they are talking about uh, computer industry, IC industry yeah. and so on. They don't talk about cultural innovation and so on. So what's your take on that? Okay, I say to you that uh, for the trilogy of Lord of Rings, it has the profit at least for 10 billion US dollars mm -hmm. uh, within five years. And you can know that the profit for our IT industry is less than 3% <laughs> That's right. for the whole, for whole year. So the, the biggest challenge is that you got to respect your own culture. You got mm -hmm. to know uh, what's your culture. Right? I, I'm not into the debate of the Chinese culture or Taiwan culture, but at least you got to find something and dig into that. Yeah. The Korean gov government is having uh, what do we call COCA. COCA mm -hmm. is a Korean culture agency. Mm -hmm. They were trying to promote their uh, Korean culture and a lot of things to foreign country. Some of them are really ridiculous. For example, mm -hmm. the Shanghai Jin, mm -hmm. they said that it's from Korea. <laughs> and we all know that it's not that way, right? Yeah. But they were saying that, okay, it came from our own culture. If yeah. you want to buy something, we can help you. And even they encouraged the online game industry. You know, uh, 10 years before, uh, Korean games are worthless. In Taiwan, it's like a third price of our own products. Mm -hmm. But after five years, the government put a lot of money there. They built up an industry park for the game industry. Mm -hmm. And they even have uh, like a game industry service. For example, if you go to army, you spend like two years mm -hmm. there. But in Korea, you can spend right. three years in game industry. Yeah. So their game industry is catching up. Mm -hmm. for, but for that same five years, our education system, our parents is complaining about computer game is ruining the future of our own kids. Yeah. So th the biggest problem is that we should educate our parents, our teachers that mm -hmm. entertainment or computer game or culture industry is the true future. Right. Not the IT industry, not the computer industry. It's mm -hmm. not the true solution. That's a very interesting observation. So when we come back, we'll talk about uh, the uh, innovation industry of culture. Yes. So don't go away. We'll be back after these messages.